alligator? I want to try alligator. No, we're not trying alligator. Why? No, I've been eating too many exotic foods. That's disgusting. I am so nervous to go to the Everglades. Oh my god. Joe thought it would be a good idea. He's always coming up with really crazy fun ideas. Yeah, I brought you some glasses. There you go. Oh, he's ready to roll. <laughs> as much as I want to say that I want a relationship, I don't know what to say. Yeah, buddy. So I'm just going to try flirting and see what happens. Yeah, this is kind of romantic. This is. <laughs> They're so boring. <laughs> I used to think about it every day. We used to act like we should run away. Oh, do you see how big he is? See his tail yeah. his tail back here? You can't pet it? Yeah, go ahead, pet it. <laughs> what do they eat? Stallones. <laughs> <laughs> You're like an appetizer for them. I got more meat than you. I got more meat on my bones than you do. Okay, good. <laughs> See this man? A warrior. Oh, bye! How did we run out of reason? Forgetting ourselves in the same days. Hello! Hi. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, ladies? Good. I'm Yali. Welcome aboard. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. Sophia. Hi, Welcome Jennifer. Well. Nice to meet you, Jennifer. Thank Welcome you. I'm coming out of my comfort zone. I'm going to do things that I've never done before. So I'm going to take the girls fishing with me. Who's catching the first fish? You. I guess mom. Youngest to oldest. Why don't we do rock, paper, scissors competition? Choosing rock. Sophia's like the one that doesn't want to fish, and she might win. No. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like, that's not anyone. Yes. That's right. <laughs> oh, my god. I've been saying everyone. I'm like, she can go. She can go. <laughs> Okay. Even though I'm going to have the worst time of my life, I'm going to do it for my mom, because that's going to make her smile. All right, that's good. Our job is to keep you in the boat. Uh, how big are we talking? Uh, biggest I've caught is 650. 650 pounds. pounds? Six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I swear to God, if you guys let go of me, I'll kill you. Well, you'll be dead, so. Oh. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> All right. I guess dropped in. This is going to be interesting. Oh, please don't say that. We're like a little train. Choo -choo. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. Come on. Aye, aye, aye. This is hilarious. What? So you're, you're backing her up, and We're you're backing train. her up. Yeah. That's I, great. I'm the middle car. Sophia is the engine, and she is the caboose. So these fish just kind of sleep at the bottom. There you go. He, 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 oh, he, he, come forward, come forward, come forward, come forward. 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 Come on, bitch. Come on. Look what you just caught. Look what you just caught. Look, look, look at him. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I told you. I told you. What the hell? All right, we're going in the water. Oh, my God. Yeah. You OK, Sophia? Oh. Oh, my God. Where's my camera? Somebody get some tape. Get we're gonna, some film. We're, we're going in the water. We're going to come in the water with me, right? That's insanity. Yeah, Mama. Ready? You got the tail here. You are doing so well. Yeah. Oh my God. Holy oh. Bravery. Oh. I love it. I dove in and I was so excited to be able to be in the middle of the ocean with this giant fish. I mean it's never gonna happen again. <laughs> so I thought, you know, live. Live your best life. Mom, I'm proud of you for getting in the water because I was definitely not doing that after even yeah, touching is, it. That's huge, by I, the way. That was badass. Thank Sometimes you. when you're feeling not your best and you're a little Thank bit you. down, you don't want to put yourself out there doing something fun like that. And I you had were the to. only one that did it. You know it. what? It felt really good. It's just kind of like a metaphor in life. You know, you just got to jump in. And even when you're scared, you got to keep swimming. Like, you can't give up. I'm truly an empty nester, but I'm ready to go for it. I'm really ready to live my best life and have a lot of fun. We gotta go inside, this is bad. Holy no, 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 cow! We're getting inside, we're getting inside. Oh my god, oh, you scared me, please, please. Oh my god, we're getting struck by this lightning. This is so much fun! <laughs> the gods are telling us. They're like, get the <laughs> inside. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, no, no. I can already smell from 
him up does here. Have a this is not a good idea. Triggers. I'm a bachelor, so he's figuring something like this to keep me company. What kind of woman are you trying to attract if you're walking <laughs> one of these? Welcome to Jurassic Park. He's a tiny frog. Wake up, bro. Oh, he's pissing. Oh, come on. It's raining. It's raining. Is that actual pee? Oh, oh, like I think I'm on a life jacket. You want, to, you want me to get something crazy yeah. now? Yeah. yeah, man. <gasps> are you kidding oh, me? Oh, my God. Is that a big enough snake oh. Oh, oh, my God. That is so big. Oh, what is everything's that? Everything's exciting. Oh, no. He went to the bathroom? No, not again. Oh, it looks like a truck stop. Oh, like <laughs> when you applied for this job, <laughs> did you have any idea you'd be dealing with 350 pounds? <laughs> oh, my God. It's so heavy. I'm not touching that, pal. <laughs> Bringing them to this place and seeing them freak out, major payback. <laughs> of course they are making bets on my feelings behind my back. They deserve it. <laughs> no! No! No, 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 no. I'm going home. It was right you! Sophia, give daddy a hug. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think my dad torturing us is one of his favorite pastimes, to be quite frank. It's kind of cool, right? You're living the dream right now. You never dreamt you'd do this. Oh, I'm so proud can, of you, baby. Love. Can you get him? Can you get him? Can you get him? Can you get him? Watch her. She's going to faint. I have to. <laughs> Your turn. Oh, no, actually, I can't, Dad. I can't. I hate spiders. I have had a fear of them since I can remember. Don't worry. Pete, you I know yourself. you can do Everybody's this. Already come, on, yeah. come on, Come on, come on. One thing I'm bad at is peer pressure, and I can't say no to people, and I just want to look tough. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, can I get he wants to go up please, for some please, please get it up, please. Oh my God! That was not nice. We've learned our lesson. It may be a little insensitive on our part to bet on Scarlett's heartbreak, but you know what? We're messed up people, all right? You just gotta roll with it. This is our family. Scarlett will get over it. Sly's gonna pet a turtle. I'll never learn. Sorry, Scarlett. What's better than horses? I don't know. Nothing? Nothing. I'm really excited because I set up this appointment with this fantastic trainer named Jessica. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Right. Nice to meet you. And she's going to reteach me some maneuvers and see if I still have the same love for it like I once did. Hand forward. Excellent. Lift up your toe and drive and go. Really good. Good. Excellent. Nice. You got it. Good. Good. Hand down. There you, you go. go. Excellent. Look at you. Really, damn. really, really good. Good seat, right? really nice. I know. I mean. Good. There you go. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Good. You know, I feel bad that I wasn't as supportive as I should have been because nothing means more to me. Wow. Than the happiness of my children and knowing that they're fulfilling their dream. And I know that my kind of insecurity affected 16, but I'll try harder next time. You did so good. I'm so proud of myself. You should be. That was so you much fun. I thought it was fantastic, really. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't do it. Uh, I know you'll come. I'll definitely come. I am 100% in this. At first, I was sort of using it as maybe an excuse to hang out with him again like we used to, but writing, remembering how much I loved it, I want to do this for me. So I'm going to put on those chaps, and I'm going to get writing. <laughs> Sophia, I want you to practice if you were kidnapped. Would you put your blindfold on so it's like the real thing? No, wait, why, why do I have to put my, she, why is this the scene put her blindfold on? Oh, I, I don't know, maybe because she's driving. Are you kidding? <laughs> Make sure you're counting all the turns back there, okay? Yeah, all the so turns, stupid. this and that. If you hear a bird, I, I'm a This is ridiculous. I've had so many scary experiences in New York so far. I've been followed multiple times where I've actually turned around to the guy and said, what do you want? actually gets them. You kind of have to confront it. I've had rats chase me. That is way scary because you can't speak human. So I'm like, what do you want? Are you counting the turns? Mm. No. <laughs> the place I'm taking to is run by a guy named Mike. He's an ex-Navy SEAL and he's excellent. An ex-Navy SEAL is going to train us? What am I going to have a circus clown training you? I've been wanting to do this since you're about 12. You scared us since we were in diapers. DTA, DTA, yes. DTA, DTA, DTA. Don't trust anybody. Um, are we turning? There we go, Sophia. I feel rocks. Okay. Oh, God. Sophia, you want to take that off? Oh, my, no. Sistine, look up the road. I don't want to go. I'm scared. I'm scared. Look at them. I want to go home. They're all standing. Oh, no. 
You live in New York and you're worried about this? Dad, this is way scarier than New York. These are real Rambos. Wait, they're kind of cute. <laughs> guys, do I look okay? Come on, come on. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. Can you believe this? I'm not playing a game. These are the guys that have seen combat, faced death. This is the real deal. Living on your own in New York, you have to know how to defend yourself. In the time we have, you're going to get a baseline of skill sets. Hopefully, you get a little bit smarter about what you need to do when you're in New York. OK. All right. If you guys are in a situation where you get attacked, just remember, attack the attacker, right? Mm -hmm. Always fight to your feet. And always make space or get away. These heels can't fight. I'm going to break one. Not to be a super girl, I can claw someone. So we'll just do jab, straight right, left hook. Okay. One, two, good. Mm -mm. I almost broke my nail. Ah! Ah! Like Why did you do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. keep yeah. you on your toes. Your hands were down. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you know, they were. I don't want to get hit by that, that's for sure. I'm your worst nightmare. I'm going to bridge my hips up and knee him so his hands fall back here. Boom. And then I trap his foot that I'm going to roll to. When am I ever going to be doing this in New York? Every first date ever. <laughs> All right, ready? Good. Oh. There, you go. there we go. Now we're talking. Sophia, she's hitting this guy. Oh, that's my girl. She has the killer instinct. See ya, sucker. Then it's Sistine's turn. First thing we do. Boom. Now what? And she goes, uh... <laughs> OK, it's Sistine. Got my phone this side. Sistine, come on. Can I have your phone number? Like, what are you doing tonight? Are you kidding me? Oh. Oh. Now what? Now I'm here. How you doing? Is that what we could do with a mugger? Ask if he wants a date? I was feeling a lot of emotions during this combat training. <laughs> it's been a minute. By the way, he's DMing me. <laughs> but I'm not his type, and I'll tell you why. He follows only girls that have really big curves. And Sophia and I were like, boing. Well, maybe he's looking for the real guy. <laughs> the stick figure? Like, what do you mean? OK, what's the question? <laughs> now I'm stressed out. Oh, god. So far, you learned how to defend yourself. Part of living on your own in New York is uh, mental toughness. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to run you guys through a series of drills that we think will help you when you're in New York. Kind of toughen you up a little bit. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. Uh, there's no way. There's no way. I'm, I'm assuming in you're going to go in there. You don't focus on the fear, you focus on the task, right? Kind of dig deep into the, the mental toughness zone. <laughs> Dare I say this? It's time for a training montage. Grab a rug. Yep. Okay. 60 pounds of weight. <gasps> Follow me. Good luck, girls. Don't forget to write. Thanks a lot, Dad. Your turn, girls. <laughs> You're going to hear this little voice. It's going to tell you, you can't do this. Don't listen to it, because this is where you grow. Oh my God. Cold water puts stress on the body to be able to work through your thought process. They think the pool is cold at 91. <laughs> yeah. So, this team, do you want a pizza? Yeah. A little mulberry pizza would be so good. Oh. Keep going, focus. You almost got it, almost there, almost there. Oh, you got it! Yeah! Yeah! Right there! You good? Yes, dude. No way! We did it? Yes, there we yeah. go. Oh, that was talking. Woo! There we go. Yeah. Oh, my nipples. <laughs> I can do anything! I feel amazing! Yeah! Oh, my God! All right, you did really well, but there's one skill set that Army Rangers, Green Berets, Navy SEALs, we all have to pass this test. This is my favorite. Oh, Jesus. Have you guys step in the pen? OK. Oh, in here? Yep. Wait, are we doing some cage fighting? Oh, they want Sophia and I to battle to the death. <laughs> this is insane. Ready? No! No what? No. No, he's too cute. I want to chase him. 
chicken chasing is how we always used to train in the old days. Yeah. You catch this thing, you can catch grease lightning. Go on and get chasing it. a chicken sounds like a fun game. What's the matter with you? You have to have speed, patience, agility, and understand you're going to be beaten by something that weighs three pounds and has a beak. Afraid of birds. <laughs> I think my fear of birds started when I was little, and Sly used to actually lock me in my room and turn the lights off. I used to make a lot of crow sounds like, ha! Ah! Ah! That is so dark. That is so dark. Ha! Ah! Maybe that did it. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. Sophia, you're not helping at all. Ah! I've seen Sistine scared of birds every single day. A pigeon just walks by her and she's like, like freaking out. They're the rats of the sky. <laughs> Why are you so fast? You guys work as a team, it could be a lot easier. Okay, okay. Oh, no, no. No, they keep flipping. Oh, what? Oh, no. Oh, come on. That was not fair. Wow. Oh. You know, maybe I'm not as uh, weak as I thought. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys passed the test. Woo! Well done. I was very proud that they succeeded in this. Shocked, actually. If I can handle that, I can handle goddamn New York City. I'm so proud of myself passing all of the tests. I would do it again. Maybe. It's so understood. As I'm preparing to take off to Florida, I thought, you know, why not spend a little time being nostalgic? And the first thing I wanted to do was go to the boxing gym where it all started with my brother. There you go. Don't hit me. We're in good shape. Ow! I got you. He always hits me. I'm I taking the bits you. off. When I'm going to Florida, I wonder what you feel like you're deserted here. You're always welcome to come down. Yes, I, exactly. I think you could use a change. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bang, bang. Uh, I loved boxing as a kid. Little did I know that 25 years later, boxing would change my entire universe forever because boxing is about fighting, fighting against overwhelming odds. Guess what? Welcome to life. Hey, fellas. Oh, my God, the Mr. Gorilla. Hey, how are you? This guy. Come over here. Why don't you have any gloves on? I see him hitting you, and I don't like I wrote a screenplay called Home Front, starring Frank Grillo. He was the bad guy. You got five seconds before I enjoy your skull into this table and into the floor. You understand me? Where is it? He's as crazy as I am. A real badass. Last time I saw you, you were holding your back. How you <laughs> so feeling? How you feeling? Uh, it's, uh, I thought I was going to be OK. You know, I, I had my back operation, which why you should never do your own stunts. And now I have to have another one this Thursday. Because like, my legs are like numb. That's why I'd like to bounce around in here. But if you feel like you're going to drop. I mean, so but you're still, you're still moving. Though. I'm still moving OK. Yeah. But that's called like movie moving. It's not like I real know, movie. It's like, know, yeah, OK. I know. So they got to go in and do a little drilling again. There's something kind of romantic about doing your own stunts. There's something very unromantic about after doing your own stunts. Here we go again. It's back operation season. You really think it's from doing your own stunts? You know what it is? I did stupid stuff. I was directing Expendables. And like an idiot, I'm doing take 10, take this. Well, I'll never forget what I'm doing is one body slam, and I could actually feel bang. Stone Cold Steve Austin when you got slammed Steve on the wall. When he that, that started it all. And Steve knew he, because he had done it too. And I'll never forget Steve going, oh. I saw his face. He went like, he felt, really? oh, he felt horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never recovered from Expendables 1. After that film, it was literally, physically never the same. So I warned people, don't do your own stunts. But anyway, if they ever need a remake of The Hunchback of Notre Dame, <laughs> I'm ready. Listen, I think you look great. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you? Welcome, I'm Dana. Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Sophia. Sophia, welcome. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you ready for a nose? 
Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. I have never done an improv class in my entire life. It's really my nightmare. Oh, what do I do? But Children's Hospital asked me to be a guest speaker for one of their galas to raise money for their hospital. And Sistine thinks that taking me to some improv class is gonna help me get over my fear of public speaking, which I know it won't, but I should probably give it a shot. The red clown nose is the sign of being silly together. It's a sign of the fact that we are all gonna just embrace making big, ridiculous choices together and being silly and supporting each other and no judgment. So let's get into this today. Hi, would you come up on stage? All right. Yeah. Come on in the back, come on up. Yeah, come on down. Woo. Whenever you're ready, just start talking. You look so good tonight. Oh my god, and so do you. Oh my god, where'd you get that top? The store. Like, you're not gonna tell me the store? <laughs> Christine's taking acting classes. Beautiful! For her, it's easy. For me, it's so bad, it's so bad. How about we get Sophia up here? <laughs> Sophia, I can tell her body is tensing up and she doesn't want to be there. She looks so uncomfortable, but I'm gonna enjoy it, so it'll be good for her. Let's see Sophia give an improvised expert speech about books to the audience. I'm gonna change the subject in just a second. Go for it. Um, if I had to recommend, oh God, where do I even start? I am so nervous. I am feeling like super embarrassed that I'm probably not pronunciating things. You know, guys are that bucky out, but they I forgot to this. <laughs> Clowns. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Um, part of me feels like maybe this wasn't the best approach for Sophia. Internet butterfly! Kindergarten, your sisters! They're bitches! <laughs> Thank you, Sophia. I had hoped that improv class would have helped me, but actually, I feel like it's made me even more scared. Oh, we're so excited! So ready. Oh my gosh. I get out first? You look like an egg. Hey, I look like an egg? You look like an egg. <laughs> There's no better way to see Rome than on a Vespa with an Italian man. Are we ready? Ready? Yeah. Woo! Yay! This was the Roman Emperor Palace. If you want, you can also ring the bell. Uh, really? <gasps> yeah. Come on, Sly. Use a little muscle, Rambo. There you go. There you go. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. Dinner time. Yeah. <laughs> it's gorgeous. I live in Miami. It's nothing. Else. It's a baby program. It is so romantic here. I am in my summer of no men, no problems. <laughs> but there's something about being in Italy that is just making me mushy. I just wish I was with someone. Smile. <laughs> oh my goodness, crazy. That was so fun. Oh, thank, thank you so much. <laughs> that was amazing. We are going to look at some ass. We are. Bellissimo Asino, right? Don't start with the Italian again. You gotta stop. The donkey speaks better Italian than you. Probably does. <laughs> <laughs> these, let me tell you about these donkeys. They may not look super intelligent. They make noise, they're stubborn. But if you got coyotes oh, around your dogs. Bad news. Nothing messes with the donkey. Buongiorno. Here you go with the Italian again. Hello, everybody. It's great to be in donkey land. I've been wanting to buy one of these for a long time. <laughs> we had coyotes. Donkeys chase and terrify coyotes. And I thought, this would be great. I'm going to surprise Jennifer after this love fest with something that's going to protect her dogs. <laughs> I know. I was kind of triggered, maybe by Arnold a little bit. <laughs> Whiskey, no, no. Wow, I didn't know you had house guests. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Noodle and whiskey, they come to visit me here in the office. What happens if they this? drop a steamer here? So what? They just clean it up. <laughs> hey, baby. You're a grown man. You don't even know this donkey enough to kiss it. 
What am I supposed to go out on a date? Yeah, a couple of dates. Buy it some corn. Some of the baby. All right, you, you know, I'm taking you out of here before the donkey cops come. Hey, man. And you're gone. This one has some nice eyes, and I don't think he's going to bite me. Is he tranquilo? See. Si. OK. If he's calm, I'm good. What do you think? Beautiful. Family pet? Yes. The Stallones are into me donkey. and my twin brother. <laughs>